shading period, a parameter describing when solar radiation is beneficial and when it should be excluded to avoid excessive heat gain, depends on climate and building size. Climate is defined here by the 17 climate zones provided by NOAA. Building size is characterized by internal load versus skin load. Internal load buildings, typically large and mid-high-rise, generate more heat and thus require more cooling than skin load buildings, which are typically small and low-rise. This table lists the suggested shading periods based on climate and building size. South-facing barrel windows maximize solar gain in the winter and emit small amount of solar gain in the summer. A moderate horizontal overhang placed above the window can effectively block the unwanted summer sun angles while maintaining the view to the outside. Vertical fans will not effectively block the unwanted summer sun angles during the hours around noon. It also partially blocks the view to the outside. If a moderate overhang is effective in shading south-facing windows, the depth of the overhang is determined by shading period, specifically by the cutoff days based on climate and building size. To simplify the design process, the angle A can be determined by this table. This is a sun path diagram of a south-facing window protected by a moderate overhang as shown in this diagram. In the summer month, the window is shaded being protected by the overhang, whereas in the winter, the solar radiation is emitted to help heat the space. The overhang can be made solid or louvered to reduce snow and wind loads. It can also be divided into several tiers, with each tier protecting a small piece of glazing or into dense horizontal louvers with higher cost and reduced view to the outside. West-facing bare windows emit much unwanted solar radiation from the low sun angles in summer afternoons when outdoor temperature is also high. This significantly increases the peak cooling demand. A moderate overhang on west-facing windows will not be effective in blocking the low sun angles in summer afternoons. Vertical fans will not be effective either in blocking the low sun angles in summer afternoons. Increasing the density of the fans helps, but it will block more of you. This is the project located at 35 degree north latitude. The west-facing window has vertical fins, which provide shading for 3 to 4 hours early in the afternoon during the winter, but only for about an hour in the summer. The horizontal tier overhangs provide a couple more hours of shading in summer afternoons than vertical fins, suggesting they are somewhat more effective. The egg crate provides shading for more hours in the afternoon than either horizontal or vertical fins. Nonetheless, the window is still exposed to the sun after 4 p.m. Now let's use vertical fins as an example to discuss the challenges of shading west-facing windows. In this design, the vertical fins only protect the window in early afternoon in the summer. Afterwards, the window is exposed to solar radiation, resulting in increased cooling loads and glare. Reducing the thin spacing improves shading effect, but the view to the outside is also reduced. The fins can be slanted to provide more shading. However, the more they are slanted, the more view they block. North-facing windows receive low sun angles only in early mornings and in late afternoons during summer months. Typically, shading is not needed for most commercial buildings, except for spaces that are used during those times to minimize glare, such as reading rooms in a library. Horizontal overhangs placed above the window are not effective in blocking the low sun angles incident on north-facing windows in the summer. However, vertical fins can be very effective in blocking these unwanted solar angles. In general, for shading south, southwest, 
southeast orientations, moderate horizontal overhangs can be very economical and effective. Vertical fins are effective in protecting north, northwest, northeast orientations, while wide overhangs accrete horizontal louvers and vertical fins can shade east-west facing windows to some degree, none of them is ideal. These orientations, especially west facing, should be avoided or minimized as much as possible.